we started a hackathon, right? So we were presenting and participating in the hackathon. We have presented this idea as was happening at like the Google offices in New York. And we were presenting this and, um, and we won that hackathon, right? So like, uh, so that's how Droids, did, that was the, the name Droids, drug choice. That's how it all came about, right? So um, post winning, so it was like, we won $2,000, right? So like, uh, and then three of the five, six team members in that hackathon started this company. So that's how we started this whole, oh, like, you know, okay. circus uh, <laughs> in this process. So post winning, um, so there was like interviews and everything, and they're fine, like it's, you know, startups and whatnot. And then I'm outside and then there's a, a guy, very smart, very capable individual. Um, he sits me down, right? Okay. So now you have $2,500. And XYZ, the one of the biggest companies, right? Like in the space in healthcare AI, they have, you know, a few billion. Tell me how you'll get there, right? I don't think you'll get there. And so they think about it, right? Once you win any competition, right? Like there are 10 people who are ready to congratulate you for like do this and what not. We, we were like, oh yeah, that, thank you very much. We'll talk to you. This guy, we need to talk to for like, you know, a few hours. Now. So that's like the attitude. And actually that, that's what happened. We ended up after two nights, like, you know, kind of like a three hour conversation with this individual um, where he's just beating on us, right? Just like, this is really bad. This is really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad. I've done this like, you know, this way and this way. And, just, it's, and he's a very capable, very successful individual, right? right. So, and that conversation taught us probably like six months of work in those three hours, at least the wow. seeds, were, right? And, and I'll tell you, right? So that conversation then led to our first investor. That conversation led to our first client. That conversation led to a lot of other things. So it's that like negative, right? You know, uh, conversation that you need to have regularly, yeah. right? Yeah. Regularly yeah. to mm -hmm. move forward. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the, the humility to be able to say, yes, it will work and walk away you know, don't, don't try to destroy my dream, <laughs> but to be able to sit there for three hours and, you know, um, someone tell you that you have a bad idea, <laughs> like you're, that it's not going to work, but being able to listen to that and being able to not just hear it, but then absorb it, filter it and go, wow, is there something I need to do differently here in order to really make this work? That's, that's powerful. Again, it's another one of those things that seem really, really simple, but it's fundamentally something that I think just a lot of human beings just skip over because we want to defend or attack or blame or say you're an idiot. That's why you don't get it <laughs> no. instead of really being able to hear that feedback and adjust accordingly.